So I'm sure by now the majority of you DJs out there have seen the catastrophic failure of Grimes during their Coachella set. Now, it didn't help that during the set they kept complaining about, oh my god, uh, the BPMs are doubled, I, I can't get it to work. That's a whole nother topic. But after doing some digging and listening to the set, um, first of all, I don't, <laughs> when she said that she couldn't do math, yeah, because Grimes said that one of the tracks should be 138 BPM, but it's 170 something, but then also claimed that it was doubled, which isn't true whatsoever. And of course, Grimes shouldn't have outsourced the preparation for the set to somebody else, but this is the key. When people were saying it's doubled and, oh, you can just half and double, or you can just do the math in your head, it wasn't actually that. In fact, it was another issue, and that's the fact that whoever did the preparation probably didn't prepare the tracks right, and that breaks down to when you're analyzing your songs. So in this example, I have the Burner Boy track, Last Last. You can see right here, the top one is 66 BPM, and I'll load the other one to the right deck, and it's 88 BPM. Now, why are these two songs which are the same exact song, two different BPMs. And that breaks down to the analyzation in the DJ software. So, for instance, if I go ahead and let me just unplug this from the mixer real quick and let this go to the Serato prep, you'll notice right here there's this analyze files button and right next to it is a cog with a little drop down. If you don't do this in Serato, I'm sure a lot of you more seasoned DJs do it, but most importantly, when you're analyzing your tracks, you can't just drag all the new music you picked up and throw it on this analyze button. You have to make sure this right here, the BPM range is set correctly, right? So it gives you some pretty wide ranges of BPMs or tempos, and your job as a DJ is to kind of figure out, okay, this song sounds like it's in this approximate BPM range, and then analyze the track using the analyze files button. Because if you get it wrong, you get stuff like this where the same song can be two different BPMs. And I know for a fact that last last is really 88 BPM, but because I analyzed it incorrectly, it shows up as 66. And this isn't something you can't just half or double because if I, you know, double 66, it's going to be 132, which is far, far away from 88 BPM. And quick extra tip in Serato, if you want to half or double your BPM really quick, all you have to do is double click, hold down option on a Mac, you need to go up or down, and you can half and double the BPM as you see fit. But again, PSA to all the DJs out there, please make sure that you're, you're choosing the right BPM range before you analyze your tracks, or you're gonna end up like this, and no one wants to end up like Grimes, especially on this stage as big as Coachella. Um, just quick reminder, don't end up like that. Take the extra time, the extra couple seconds it takes to pick the right BPM range before you analyze a song, and you can save yourself a huge headache. Yes, of course, regardless of this, you're still gonna be able to beat match by ear, which is still you know, the best way to DJ. It's a skill that I think every DJ, not I think, every DJ should have is to be able to beat match by ear. And even if the BPM is wrong, the, you could still use the pitch fader or tempo fader, or whatever, to line up the songs and get them beat matched correctly, regardless of what BPM information your software might give you. So first step is make sure your analyzation is correct. Second step, make sure that in a pinch, you can beat match by ear. Well, that's it for this video. Of course, if you're looking for more DJ related content, be sure to click on one of the videos right here and I'll catch you in the next one.